something for you to think about when you're doing the Turkish get up. And a lot of other people may be telling you that's a bad exercise and they're worried about certain things. So let me show you what I'm talking about. So down here, a lot of people talk about they're worried that your shoulder is going to be in a bad range of a bad position and it could possibly get injured. Now, let me rephrase this. I'm not worried about this shoulder above as much as something else. The shoulder above is stabilizing 53 pounds. Now, check this out. As soon as I lift up, look at the bottom shoulder. This has 53 pounds plus some of my body weight as I move. So I'm not worried as much of this weight up here. I'm worried about focusing on my shoulder that is down. And that is why this exercise is wonderful. You're not training just the weight that is over your head or on your shoulder, in the rack position, whatever you want to do it. We can do a Turkish get up in many ways. You're getting up like this, getting down like that, but focus on the shoulder that is down, okay? versus just the one that is above your head. Sure, there's a weight of your head, above your head, but you can bail with that in many different ways, okay? It's when we're focusing on this shoulder that is supporting everything, right here, making that alignment, and then rotating, being in different positions, the same thing. This shoulder on the ground is also changing, okay? So think about that one. The next time you do your Turkish get-ups.